What's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Get Swifty. I mean, Vital Vinyl Vlog. And today, we're going to be blasting one of Kill Town, Denmark's finest. The new Kyoten promo. Adipasir Feast. And I apologize if I mispronounced that. Extremely Rotten Productions. 7 inch available through MSUO. Awesome cover artwork by Ink Lesions, aka David from Undegang. And holy shit, I can't wait for the full length debut from Kaoten. Because if it's as disgusting and heavy as these two new tracks are, Holy shit, I, I just can't wait. Because coming off of the demo compilation, Festering Excarnation, it, it, it's just such a great like follow-up. And having the original demos and everything, I have a compilation as well on cassette, but like it sounds amazing on wax. But it's just great now being able to listen to Technically, eight, eight KO songs. So that's technically a full length record. So, you know, if you want to throw on Festering Excarnation, you get both demos. And then if you have the new promo, boom! Get three birds stoned at once. But again, I'm not sure if this is a promo, a demo, an EP. All I know is it's eight. Tr I mean, it's two tracks of Kill Town's fucking filthiest death metal, besides Frenolith, Windagang, and a few others. But I feel like Ko is kind of one of my favorites when it comes to the Kill Town Bunch. And the artwork's just fan-fucking-tastic. David killed it here. I know that's kind of blurry. That's where 7 Inch comes in handy, but... I absolutely just love everything about this. Into Everlasting Fire and Degregation. K-O-N-Official at gmail.com and you get Etched Shadows and Adipasir Feast, the title track, making up this two track slab of Kill Town filth from the sewers of Denmark. Definitely, in my opinion, a hotbed of death metal alongside the Pacific Northwest. And, oddly enough, Ohio. But also, obviously, Finland still has a ridiculous scene. The UK's death metal scene, amazing. But when it comes to your like Scandinavian death metal, Kill Town, a.k.a. Copenhagen, Denmark, kills it. I mean, just having Undergang and Frenolith alone, you know, fucking A, but like, yeah. You add Kyoten to that bunch and a few others, it's ridiculous how just sick, you know, Denmark's death metal and just extreme music scene is. Because like, you have Ascendancy playing like black and death metal and just doing it extremely well. Some of the best musicians in the game when it comes to death metal and black metal happen to all be part of the same scene and share members and whatnot. Like, from Tapos to Sulfurous, like, there's just so much awesome music coming from that scene coming from Extremely Rotten Productions and Night Shroud Records, like, 
and now we have Molten Face as well. Like, I think that's fucking awesome. And what else is awesome was a buddy of mine, he said he went into the Extremely Rotten store and David had both Accursed Womb compilations out for sale. And he went in wearing the Street Trash t-shirt. And I just thought that was, you know, cool as fuck. Like, when he told me that, I was like, really? Like, that's fucking awesome. Like, I, I don't know. It, it just meant a lot to me on a personal level. Like, knowing one of my favorite record labels is carrying a band I'm in, you know, both of our releases, which are the same release, but like, the European version, and the American version. They both have different artwork, because we figured if we were lucky enough to get two presses of this, why not? Let's do alternate covers and stuff. And I'm glad we did. And when it comes to Kaoten, absolutely crushing, filthy, grindy at times, just awesome fucking filthy death metal. Just listen. And enjoy. On this fucking dehydrated piss tape shell. At a posseer feast. This is fucking grade A death metal. From Killtown. ERP number 72. E fucking central. These two tracks. I mean, I'm not being biased either, but like it's KO and. One of my favorite death metal bands, like I was saying, from Killtown, and that is saying a lot. I have a bunch of cassettes blocking my, like, Killtown section. Yes, I actually have my records right now. <laughs> and this sounds kind of lame, but it's not. I have a bunch of my Pacific Northwest, like, death metal releases all in one section. I have my... <laughs> like Scandinavian death metal re releases all in one section. And like, I've been kind of, you know, doing it like that. Like I have a bunch of releases in a row that <laughs> Greg Wilkinson engineered and everything. And it's kind of cool. Like just, you know, like there's my gore grind section, which I love. And when it comes to cassettes, I'm really slacking here when it comes to organization. I really have to get on it, and I obviously have time. Eight weeks left. So, yeah. I, I know it's eight weeks, but, like, I'm fucking stoked. Like, to me, the hardest two weeks are done. But, like I said yesterday, I was a little shook when 
I overheard the doctor saying, like, if I even move my head the wrong way, I could have a stroke. Like, and again, the hospital called, and they really fucked up. Really, really fucked up. They took my information down so wrong that they tried getting my auto insurance involved, but I don't have auto insurance anymore. I was on a BMX bicycle, not a motorcycle. These people at this hospital are fucking the worst. Like, I, this lady legitimately was furious on the phone. How, because I was like, what are you talking about? And I explained what happened, like, the injury, my knowledge of what happened. And she was like, so you weren't on a motorized vehicle crossing a street? You didn't clip a broom on your four-wheeler? And I'm like, whoa, whoa, what the f so, like, I just give my mom the phone because I'm about to start fucking losing my cool. And my mom's talking to this lady, and I'm listening because it's on speakerphone. And I'm listening to this shit, just getting more and more angry at the just total incompetence of this hospital I was at. Like... The doctor I was at yesterday, as soon as I heard him say, what is he doing out of the hospital? I got like legit shook. I got scared. Cause you know, you trust doctors. I know I do. And now, fuck that. That's the last thing I'm doing. Always go for a fucking second opinion. My second opinion probably saved my life. Because, like I said, I have a fucking skull fragment floating around here. And if it hits a certain part of my brain, I'm going to have a stroke. I don't want to have a fucking stroke. That's it. Like, show's over. So, like, hearing that and hearing the doctor, you know... What is he doing out of the hospital? I wanted to be like, well, why am I... You made me drive to your office, motherfucker. Like, but then I realized he didn't look at the x-rays in advance and stuff. But, like, when I went to the Roth Rothman Institute, it's part of Jefferson and whatnot, and I was dealing with the Philadelphia Eagles doctor and stuff, he was, again... Terrified. He was horrified by the fact that they let me out of the hospital in under 48 hours. The paperwork is completely wrong to where my health insurance... Now, I mean, this lady is fixing everything. I was looking at, like, a $90,000 plus dollar bill. Because... They told my health insurance it was a motor accident. And it wasn't. It was a... BMX accident. The key word is accident. I thought that's what fucking insurance was for. And all these years, like, I stressed health insurance. Because I rode my bike like this. I, I always knew, like... You can get hurt doing this. Like, it's a part of the fucking game. Like, it's part of life. You get hurt. You get back up. Sometimes. Other times, you might have to take a little bit. Like, I don't... I want to be on my bike as soon as I possibly can. But, like, you know, again, hearing from a doctor, if you fall and hit your head again, the outcome is going to be disastrous i don't want to fucking hear that shit but at the same time i need to hear that stuff i can still ride my bike have fun just chilling like cruising the park i, I don't need to be doing gnarly shit and like to be stoked 
I'm happy just like when my bike's running good, I'm riding fast, and like especially where I live, like my local skate park is FDR. Like you don't have to pedal, you just flow around and it's the best. But again, I got hurt doing nothing. It was a uh, just, you know, a part on my bike malfunctioned. I didn't have time to put my hands up. That's life, you know? And I can't really complain because I'm not dead and I'm not paralyzed. And I know I keep bringing this up. That's because I had some heavy head trauma. And my memory's kind of shit right now. I, I keep finding myself repeating and whatnot. But I know I've been repeating myself about how fucking good the new Kyoten is. At a Pasir feast on Extremely Rotten Productions and MSUO did the 7 inch. Filthy, filthy, heavy fucking kill town death metal goodness hails. And thank you, Jack, for the trade. Your package is in the mail. So, also. Keep an eye open on Decibel Magazine. That's all I'm going to say in the upcoming next two months. Just keep your eyes open. That's all I'm going to say. But definitely check out the new Kyoten. Even if you're new to Kyoten, check this out first and then work your way backwards. I just think, or go the other way. Start with the first demo and work your way here. I really hope they drop a full length either later this year or in 2022. And hopefully it gets an American release. But as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. I'm sorry I went on a little tangent there. These things happen. But... As always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Today's video goes out to Florida. Worm and obituary. I'm all florida out today. So, hails to Florida. And Phantom Slaughter. A.K.A. Worm. And Equaman Thorn. But also, I got some word on the new worm. Expect it around late fall, winter. So, that's another fucking get stoked for. But, in the meantime, thanks for watching as always, you fucking rule. I'm gonna try to keep setting the camera up in different places. Like, I wanted to show off the Swamp Witch flag and the... Old Disphere poster. Sick shit. And behind it, we have the Bone Sickness flag. So good. Thank you, Mitch. And again, thank you folks at home for watching. You fucking rule. Hails. Yeah.